What are some of the ways that you hear from God personally? Well, that's the same as hearing from my wife. <laughs> hey, that works. I like that. That's no, seriously, I mean, you know, there's a lot of truth in that. Okay, uh, I guess I would say that, of course, the most primary way any of us hear from God is the Word. And, you know, you got a question about some aspect of life. First place you go is the Word, because that's what it is. It's a book of God's principles for successful living in this, in this natural world. And so the first place you're going to hear from the Lord is the Word. Yeah. And sometimes we get real spooky about how we're going to hear from the Lord, you know, and yeah, yeah. a lot of different ideas about it. But this very basically begins with the Word of God. And then from there, uh, and this is for me, you know, it progresses to if I've got something I'm wanting to hear from God about, then it goes to my prayer time and my, you know, uh, awareness of the truth that he will answer if I'm listening. Yeah. And so as I'm praying, praying in the spirit perhaps, uh, I have my, you know, ex expectation turned toward hearing from him yeah. and ideas will start to come and he's speaking to me. Uh, often in that still small voice, uh, sometimes it's by the impartation of peace about a certain subject I may be praying about because we're to follow after peace, and I'm hearing from the Lord. So it begins with the Word. It continues into my prayer time with the Lord. Uh, it does certainly involve my wife. I made a little joke about that, yeah. but I think marriage partners often overlook one another as one of the primary sources that God's going to use to speak into one another's life. Yeah. And uh, sometimes we... You know, we fall into a pattern of competing ideas, and we, we want to promote our viewpoint or opinion. But if we go at it right, each party to the conversation expecting to hear from God in this, then very often he will speak through one or the other. Uh, as a matter of fact, next to the Word of God in my prayer time, that's the way I usually hear from the Lord, is, is by my wife and I, uh, coming to a point of agreement, uh, which my wife and me actually have been a better way to say it, come to a point of agreement. And, uh, and then, you know, I can rest assured that I've heard from God. Yeah. And then throughout the day, whenever you're talking to people or with people, uh, do so with an undercurrent of awareness that God could speak to you through any one of these brothers or sisters in the Lord. I think a lot of times we cruise toward our day with no great expectation at all. Uh, and, you know, we miss some things, I think, that way. But I think when we are with others uh, that also know the Lord, yeah. uh, you know, especially, then we should, we should be listening for things that, and don't get weird about this, you know, um, but we should be aware of the fact that God speaks through people uh, very, very frequently, and uh, but we have to be looking for it, and we have to expect it. I love that. Uh, so to me, you know, that's kind of the pattern I would, uh, I would suggest. Start with the Word of God. It's where He's always going to be speaking. Uh, spend time in prayer with Him, yeah. communing with Him, and keep your questions kind of oriented toward Him and listen for Him. And use your spouse as a Holy Ghost sounding board. Honey, what do you think about this? And uh, what's your thoughts on that? And get a little dialogue going. And uh, more often than not, you'll hear something from the Lord. Amen. And then other people in general. Just look for it. I love that. I love that. With, with Pastor Lynn as a sounding block, I mean, that's, that's some keen insight right there. I feel <laughs> yeah. like you're, you're hitting it on yeah, all yeah, cylinders right, right there. <laughs> I'm working on some brownie points tonight. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Me too. 